welcome to our daily news segment on 24 Hours Channel. We hope you will find the information useful. Don't forget to like and share to support the program. Now, let's move on to the detailed news. The third storm with gusts of over 15 is sweeping the Chinese state, especially in the capital Beijing and many southern provinces of China, causing widespread flooding. Yesterday, at 11 p.m., Eastern Time on the Chinese side, the Beijing State Meteorological Warning Bureau said that the Typhoon No. 13, with winds at the center of the storm, gusting above 15 degrees, very strong winds have swept away Beijing capital and southern provinces, causing widespread flooding and causing trees to collapse, roads and bridges to be paralyzed. People are warned not to go out on the street, and this is one of the worst things that the Chinese state continues to have to receive the 32nd day of darkness. Ladies and gentlemen, China has gone 31 days without sunlight. All the sky in the 28 southern provinces has only one color, which is gray, yellow and black. China has never seen the sun. Thus, the sun did not appear in China until the 32nd day. This is one of the great things to go to dinner for Beijing, but it is good news for many countries in the world such as Japan, Korea, Korea, India, Russia and many countries in Southeast Asia and communities around the world. Why? because China deserves to be punished. It seems that Mother Nature is still punishing Beijing with super typhoons and causing four dams to burst in just the past 10 days. The Chinese state must issue a warning. Red, President of China, Mr. Xi Jinping, the head of state of China also had to exclaim. Oh my God, why is it that heavy rain and strong wind have continuously landed in Beijing like this, causing more than 100 million people of China to fall in love? China had to evacuate all night yesterday. The situation is flooded everywhere. The house is four to five floors high now only the top floor is not flooded. Currently, China is facing many difficulties and sorrows. It is thought that this is the cause and effect of retribution that China is suffering, because what China has done to the world is extremely bad. Just like China has suppressed countries in the world to ease sea pirates and China are the only countries to release COVID to the world, to now infect more than 219 countries and territories across the planet with COVID-19 and make countless families sick. Struggling, industries falling into bankruptcy and disrupting global supply chains, China's doing bad things to the world. Now China only has to bear the consequences of natural disasters and floods. Ladies and gentlemen, it is one of the very new information related to the Typhoon No. 13 which is making landfall in China. Today we continue to update the storm number 13. The storm surge above level 15 is having extremely strong winds, making landfall on the Ananmen Square of China causing flooding everywhere. Ladies and gentlemen, the Chinese state is experiencing consequences when super strong storms hit Beijing during the past few days. Today, the 13th typhoon is continuing to make landfall in the southern provinces of China, causing widespread flooding. The Chinese state had to issue an emergency notice, warning people to stay indoors and not go out. In addition, last night, China's state rescue and search and rescue agency had to evacuate 40 million people to high mountain peaks for shelter. Currently, the stormy situation of the Chinese side is extremely bad and this is one of the extremely sad news for the Chinese state, but it is also good news for countries around the world, because China is one of the most unpopular countries on the planet. Ladies and gentlemen, in the past few days, China has continuously received extremely bad news related to the weather. These were heavy rains, high winds, earthquakes, dike breaks, and dam failures that continuously raged in the capital Beijing and Tiananmen Square as well as many provinces in the south, including Hubei and Ho Chi Minh City. South, Sichuan, Yunnan, Guangdong, Guangxi, even Shanghai Wharf. According to ABC News, a new site specializing in monitoring rain and storms in the world, China in recent days is facing a disaster because super strong storms continue to make landfall in mainland China, causing heavy rain, high winds and floods everywhere. According to the famous Chinese website TikTok, videos have been posted showing that the people of mainland China have had to look for shelter everywhere, in which the rich have flown to Europe to escape, and the posts seek refuge on high mountain peaks. Some people showed signs of hiding, hiding through trails and openings to go to Vietnam, Laos and Myanmar, but the COVID-19 epidemic is still breaking out. That is why the people of China do not dare to cross the border to Vietnam. Otherwise, they will be arrested by the forces and agencies and taken away 30 days away. Ladies and gentlemen, in a news report of China's central television channel, CCTV said that floods are still raging in many provinces and cities in China, causing great difficulties for people. 
and Xi Jinping's government doesn't know what to do. Because in the past three days, China continued to receive Typhoon 08, one of the very strong storms above Category 13 continued to make landfall in the eastern and southern provinces. As noted by CCTV news site China National Television, in less than a month, China has received up to eight typhoons from the number one, number two, number three, number four. No, five, no, six, no, seven has been raging for the past few days, but yesterday this no, eight storm continued to make a heavy landfall on China, causing mainland Beijing to suffer from widespread flooding. According to the China Morning Post, one of China's most popular newspapers, heavy rains and floods forced thousands of people to evacuate in China's Sichuan province, Yunnan province. Chinese authorities have urged people across the country to prepare for heavy rains, high winds, earthquakes that break dikes and dams, and downpours from upstream of the Three Gorges Dam to the region. Downstream, it is said that this is Mother Nature who wants to punish China, because around China's neighbors such as Vietnam, Laos, Mongolia, Korea, and Japan, there are almost no storms, swept through. According to a report by the South China Morning Post, the official mouthpiece of the Chinese party. In Sichuan province, torrential rains since early March have raised water levels in 14 rivers, washed away boats and bridges, and forced more than 4 million people to evacuate overnight. Although there are no reports of casualties, mainland Chinese state media reports that heavy rains and floods will continue to cause widespread effects and affect 120 million people across the country, causing a train lines have to be shut down. Damage was estimated at more than 176 million yuan, equivalent to about 30 million US dollars. About 2,700 homes in provinces such as Sichuan, Hubei, and Hunan are reported to be without electricity, trees, roads, schools, stations are blocked, cars, refrigerators, televisions are floating around, under the river and now the road of the Chinese side has turned into a river. About 900 kilometers to the northeast a very famous city in Shanxi province called Hanshan, the past few days have witnessed many luxury cars also swimming under the flood water. The city of Jinxing, also in Shinding province, has raised its heavy rain warning level to red, the highest level. Ladies and gentlemen, Beijing usually records about 600 millimeters of rain annually, in Hebei province bordering the capital Beijing. Heavy rains and thunderstorms in recent days have continuously occurred, causing the plane to temporarily stop taking off and landing at the airport in Shijia city in the capital of Jiangxi province. According to many sources, natural disasters and disasters will continue to punish China to eliminate Beijing on behalf of countries in the world, because what China has cost to the world is enormous. Big. Former U.S. President Donald Trump also said that it is China that is a dangerous country not only for America to open to the world. That's why now Mother Nature's hand to punish China is completely justified. Ladies and gentlemen, the very popular Hong Kong newspaper reports that the floods are raging and are leaving about 12 million people in mainland China in dire straits. The worst floods in history hit mainland China last year, but this year's heavy rain and strong winds are expected to be even more leaving the Chinese state government at a loss for what to do. For now, Beijing is issuing a warning, because this year's rainfall is likely to be higher than last year. We still remember last year China had to endure up to 98 days and nights of heavy rain, high winds, China's sky had only that one color, it was dark. In Sichuan province, storms caused water levels in 16 rivers to rise, severely affecting 120 million people in neighboring provinces. China has large rivers such as the Yangtze River, also known as the Yangtze River, where the Three Gorges Dam is built, and the Huai River. There is also the Mekong River and many other tributaries. It is forecasted that if heavy rain and high winds continue to occur, it is likely that dike and dam failure will continue to cause severe damage to the people of China. China has issued its highest alerts in severe flooding, affecting many areas across the country. Last year, many flood response drills have also been held ahead of the stormy season in recent months. In 2020, China recorded its worst flood in 1,000 years, affecting about 600 million people and costing countless dollars of the government of Mr. China warned that this year's rainfall could be higher than last year. China's State Water Resources Ministry in June has repeatedly called on people and agencies to make efforts to prevent floods. However, they still could not defeat Mother Nature and the Supreme Being God. Yesterday, firefighters and many other departments of the Chinese side such as the army and police everywhere got involved. However, heavy rain and strong winds still paralyze all electricity, roads, schools, and stations, making Beijing completely paralyzed, and now China is facing cause and effect. 
According to Beijing's Ministry of Water Resources, the Yellow River, one of the very famous rivers of China, is a key moment for this year's flood control. The flood control system in the Yellow River Basin has not been completed, the dams are linked weak. Flood control on small and medium rivers faces many difficulties. Chinese officials and local authorities lack experience in flood control. Two main roads from the mainland Chinese city to other provinces are isolated, according to videos posted on TikTok by Chinese residents on the TikTok network that it seems that China is facing a lot of problems. Bad things caused by floods. It shows that the officials in the headquarters of the Xi Jinping government do not care about the people, do not care about flood, rain, and storm control, but only care about the East Sea and invade the South China Sea. Occupy the territory and territorial sea of countries in the region only. That is why countries around the world hope that heavy rain and high winds will continue to happen to punish China. Today's newsletter ends here. Sincerely thank you and everyone. You have followed our newsletter. Wish you and your family always healthy and happy. If you find it interesting, please subscribe to the channel then press the bell icon in the right corner of the screen to not miss the latest news that we will update. But for now, bye and see you again. So recent information also mess the end of the comprehensive news bulletin for today. We will continue to update the latest information in the upcoming bulletin. Please subscribe to the 24-hour channel to stay updated. For now, goodbye and see you again.